One of the biggest challenges for any business is, well, getting more business. This might be getting an infusion of new customers in the door, or it could be upselling your existing customers on different products or upgraded services. But I'm here to tell you that selling should never be the goal of your business when it comes to revenue growth. In fact, I believe that a sale is actually an after effect of something a lot more important. And it's so important that it could turn your customers into loyal advocates of your business that will help your business grow. In this video, I'm gonna reveal what you should be doing besides selling and show you how to turn your current customers into your biggest fans that will not only spend more with you, but will use their influence to help you get even more customers. Okay, so right off the bat, the number one thing you need to be doing instead of selling is solving. Look, no matter what business you're in, your customers are your customers because at some point, you help them solve a problem. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a landscaping company. You may think that you sold your customer on mowing the lawn, removing weeds, planting flowers, or putting in a new interlocking stone walkway, but you didn't. What you did do though is far more important. You see, before that customer came to you, he might have looked at his lawn and then looked at his neighbor's lawn and felt embarrassment, inadequacy, heck, even shame because his lawn didn't look as good as theirs. Maybe he had no time to do the landscaping himself because he was spending time with his family or had to work. Maybe landscaping on any level just isn't his thing. Whatever the reason, that customer decided that A, he had a problem, which was his negative feelings about his lawn, and B, he needed someone to help solve that problem. So he goes online and searches for how can I get a better looking lawn or tips for a better front yard. And this is where you, the business owner, needs to think about solving instead of selling. Because this guy doesn't want to hire a landscaper. He wants to be the envy of his neighbors. So you need to position your message on your website to appeal to this customer's inherent want. So instead of having a website headline that reads, we're a full service landscaping company with lawn care, flowers, and interlocking stone, you should have a headline that reads, we turn your ordinary front lawn into the garden that cars slow down to stare at. And this technique works in any business, landscaping, seniors care, lawyers, dentists, publishing, consulting, wart removal, shoelaces, every single business. If you have a specific customer in mind, then you need to think about solving their problems instead of trying to sell them your product or service. Look, not everyone is going to become your customer. Using that landscaper example, there are plenty of people who don't care what their front yard looks like or they like to do it themselves. But if there's a market for your business, then you should focus on solving that market's problems instead of selling them a product. So when creating a website or a paid search campaign or a social media presence, focus your content on solving problems for your ideal customer. Include headlines that drive that message home. Remember to include benefits over features. For example, don't say, we cut your grass. Instead say, we make your neighbors jealous with how great your lawn will look. Also, and this is important, you need to include proof. Testimonials are the best way to show proof of a job well done. Include them on your website and have a link to your Google's review page clear on your website. If you wanna learn how to get more Google reviews, Click on this video to see exactly how to do that. And if you're in a business where you can take pictures of the work you do, like landscaping or car detailing, home renovations, etc., then include photos of your work. Videos are great too, especially ones that show you doing the work. In conclusion, the key here is to solve your customer's problem instead of pitching them. It reminds me of that movie, The Wolf of Wall Street. There's a scene where Jordan Belfort, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, asks a group of guys in a diner to sell him a pen. The one guy who's successful simply says, I want you to write your name on that napkin, to which Leo says, I don't have a pen. The problem is identified, and all the other guy has to do is solve it by selling him that pen. I hope you like this video. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, and if you click here, 
you can see another great video that reveals even more great tips on how to build your business.